Welcome back guys, Crest Dragon here. And yes, here we are in Astrocraft with what I have dubbed the Builder Bee. Now, the Builder Bee is something that I introduced to you guys in a previous video, and I figured it'd be a good idea to give you guys just a few more ideas before you set out on your own and get into shenanigans of your own. Now, this is the build, Solo Wonder is the mode, and when we get into this mode, I am going to be showing you guys two crazy things that you guys can build on your own. You can do different variations, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to show you two examples, so let's get into that. And here you go, guys. This is one of the racetracks that I made. Probably the one and only. So, this is where you would normally start in the game, uh, in this round. Uh, in Solo Wonder. And I've basically made it so that the blocks, using the Builder B build that I have, to make it so that you stay on the map pretty much every single time when you're racing around. Now, my build is not the greatest for racing, so I can't really go through these loops. So I'm just gonna shortcut them just to show you guys. And basically, I've put all these walls up to make it look like a racetrack. And, uh, as you guys can see, it's got a lot of different elements in it, twists and turns, utilizing, basically, the original racetrack. And the only tricky spot that I have is going up this one. So I've made it so that this actually catches you. And then... Come around the final corner. And you're done. Now, for anyone who is interested in seeing the process of building this, it's probably taken me over an hour to do this, so I will not be showing anyone the process of building it. Show you guys what I did using the Builder Bee. So we've got the start, then you go all the way around, go up there through the loop, and then you would come down over here. So you'd come down there, go through here, go over the jump, go around the little... Uh, coming through here, and then taking that turn up through that, and then again going through the course, and you would be at the start again. So that is just a tour of this racetrack that I designed. So if you guys like this track, Feel free to make your own, and I will be showing you guys one more creation that I have up on my sleeve. Alright guys, this is the moment that you have all been waiting for. What do you do when you've reached the top of the building? What do you do when you've created a, a race course, or a level, or even a labyrinth? 
the options are endless. Well, I will tell you what you do. You start building off the map completely. Now, again, just remember, you have to start using what is already there as a solid uh, base. That is why I have to put the ramp here. And as you guys can see, I have a pathway. Now, for many of you, you might not even might not have even thought about doing this, and yet I was thinking about doing this for such a long time that it had to be done. I had to make a video about it. And basically, I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds here what is actually in the city. Now, I know you guys are probably getting really anxious because uh, my vehicle goes really slow, but I want to show you guys just how long it actually takes to get out here and build. Now, the city is literally just 2D, there's nothing to it. Once you're behind it, it disappears. So, those are buildings there. These are other ones. They're literally just... It's like someone cut out pieces of cardboard and just stuck them down. However, the, the detail in the buildings are really, really cool. And because I just built literally straight out, it just goes right into the middle of the final layer. Now, I'm going to give you guys a moment here to guess what you think is going to happen. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds here. So on the other side of this wall, basically at the city, what do you think we're going to find? Do you think I'm going to fall off? Do you think the game's just going to break? What do you think is going to happen? You got your guess? Alright. So I am just going to use my rockets and I'm just going to blast right through it. Whoa, that was close. Holy smokes. And you know what, guys? The thing is, I didn't even count how many bricks I put down. The blocks were just there. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was close. And as you can see, it just comes to an end. And I've actually tested this before. Didn't actually make such a, a close call, obviously. I was a little bit more cautious because I didn't want to start it all over again. But now that I'm recording, that was pretty close. And if you continue to build blocks all the way out to those clouds, it literally just keeps going on and on and nothing changes. So you can go as far as you want, you will not go anywhere. The one thing that you can do is build in other directions. Now this is just uh, an insight of the how I build. This is called speed building, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, because you've got two of those builders, and while one's reloading, the other one takes over, and basically, once you've gone through them two or three times, you kind of look to see your progress. And I know it's really sketchy because the game doesn't show you everything. Because once you're out of a, a certain range, it, it just doesn't uh, generate it. But this game is crazy. And now it just looks like I'm in the middle of the sky. Even though we are on a platform. 
clouds. Everything is so well detailed in this game. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm glad that I didn't break the game. <laughs> but kind of feels like I did, even though I didn't blow up. And I didn't find, you know, the end of the game. I didn't run into a wall or anything. But... This just goes to show you guys that there are really no limits in this game. The only thing that I want to share with you guys at the very end of this is... when you go down. So, I have to put a block. On the map, so that it attaches. And now, we can go down. Now, here is the uh, drawback to this. When you guys get down to a certain level, I'm not going to go down all the way, but as you can see, you can see right straight through all the graphics. If you continue to go down, you will eventually reach a point in the bottom of the game where you blow up. It's no different than if you were to be falling off the map and your machine were just to explode and you would reset on the top of the map. So if you guys are feeling adventurous and creative, you know, head towards the city, you know, do something really, really crazy. This is actually a really cool shot here showing us the pathway that does actually span all the way into the city and onto the other side. So if you guys like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you want to request anything, leave a comment, and if you want to see more content, just uh, subscribe and uh, let me know you're engaged. So until the next video, I will just leave you guys with these ideas floating around, and I will see you in the next one.